Governor DeSantis has a new warning for bars. Follow social distancing guidelines or risk losing your liquor license. DeSantis says bars around the state will be getting visits from inspectors to make sure customers and employees are spread apart. Would you like to a number of bars in Jacksonville Beach temporarily closed last week because dozens of employees and customers caught COVID-19. News for Jack's reporter Vic Michelucci is joining us live from the beach to show us how these establishments are slowly getting back to business. Vic? Yeah, Mary, it has been difficult times for these bar and restaurant owners, the managers, as well as the staff members who had been out of work. Then they went back on the job and now they're out again. Many of these restaurants are open again. Today we went by Taco Lou. They're doing to go only. And if you go up and down this strip, you will see different cases every place telling us that safety and sanitation are the pro top priorities. This iconic taco spot is back open again, partially after a week-long shutdown. Save for hurricanes, it's the longest we've been closed in 12 really? years. Really? In the yeah. history of Taco Loop. That's right. Owner Don Nickel made the call last Tuesday after an employee tested positive for COVID-19. He says now a total of five have the virus. What is this doing for, uh, for you, for the business, for morale? Well, when you go from you know, almost back to normal business to zero, it's a big difference. Uh, morale is really tough, but really this is our first real taste of a quarantine because we've been open this whole time. Today, they're back to to-go orders only. The dining room remains closed until more employee tests results come back. Nickel tells us it's a big hit in cash flow, but it's the right thing to do. Other restaurants and bar owners are in the same boat. This afternoon, Florida's Governor Ron DeSantis said the state will keep the 50% capacity at restaurants, bars, and pubs, urging them to be responsible after a rise in cases, especially around people between 25 and 34 years old. And that's starting to change, particularly in the younger demographic. So I think that I think folks understand. I think they understand we've got to we've got to get this done in a good way. Many businesses at the beach, like Angie's Subs, are back open after a deep clean. Managers say they're safe. Employees at the tavern and rec say they're constantly cleaning. We saw them wiping down tables, bars, and chairs. I'm hoping that we'll get some people in here feeling confident that you can eat out here and at, you know, Angie's or Mojo. These staff members hoping for sunnier days, so to speak, but they say it's not easy because a lot of them are met with long lines because there's an increased demand for those testing and they need negative COVID-19 test results to return to work. We're live in Jacksonville Beach. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.